way to the Gower and we've taken the, the easy route along the M4. We've just been through the Ronda. It's got a nice colour. That's a nice colour two-tone camper van there. We'll probably meet him in the campsite. The campsite we're going to, the hillside is it? Hill End. Hill End. I think it's, it's used a lot by surfers. Um, that's over in um, the tip by the Blue Pool Corner of the Gower Peninsula. So we're just coming up past Port Talbot. There's the steelworks, if you can see them through the trees. Probably can't now. But you've got this juxtapositioning of lovely countryside. And then you've got industrial Port Talbot along the banks of the Severn Estuary. So it's an interesting part of Wales. We're going to be coming off shortly and taking the 42. Hopefully we can get off there and go west. Swansea, Abertawi, as it is in Welsh. We're going to drop off down to the Mumbles and Mumbles Head. It's supposed to be lovely. Because I'm not sure what time we can get on the campsite anyway. Look at these lovely hills. You see, you don't have to look far in this country to find a bit of countryside. This is part of our touring the Welsh coast trip, which we decided to do this year. Last year it was South West Scotland, this year it's the Welsh coast. I spent some time living in Wales and um, in, in South Wales, in Monmouth. And I know Wales a little bit, we used to holiday in Wales. Did you holiday in Wales? Yes, Abersock. Abersock, I used to go dinghy sailing in Abersock out on the trapeze many caravan years ago. Park. Yeah, it was a caravan park, was it? Yeah, okay. We used to camp. Anyway, you're getting a bit of history there. Most of it irrelevant. Brief stop off in Sainsbury's. Because we couldn't get everything at the farm shop. Oh, here's an interesting bridge. Look at that. Wow, I'm impressed with that. It's lovely, isn't it? I love the colour of it as well. Yeah. 
the pilot. Oh, right, yes. Of course, they would have had big, big boats coming in. You need a pilot, don't you? Bracelet way. Birdies. It's very popular. There's lots of people eating out. Well, it is Friday today. True. So, yes, I'm guessing. On board Yacht Club. Lots of vans, they look as though they're there permanently. Yeah. Mumbles Pier. That's looking over the bay, Port Talbot, and then I assume down to Cardiff. I don't know, I've lost all sense of direction. And this is like the road making its way up to the head. Yes, I hope so. There's the RNLI over there. roads in this country we're yep. discovering. This is Bracelet Bay. Oh look at that. It's up to a very big vista. Yes it does doesn't it? Oh wow. This I is... do like a vista. Oh I do like a good vista. Nice to show Devon is over there somewhere. You can just about make it out in the distance. Oh, oh, I won't be able to see it on, the, on here. It's over there. That's but it's good. over there, yeah. Just have a look at the view. Uh -huh. Okay, that side, uh, uh, that side, I guess. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll come round and admire the, the view. Hmm. Yeah. Well, welcome to Bracelet Bay. Yeah. General history. In 1905, there were several licensed bathing machine operators at Bracelet Bay, <laughs> including James Webborn, who had eight machines. I don't think you will today, but you have views over Swansea Bay from up there. Bristol Channel, North Devon and Somerset. You said that? Yeah. This is a designated site of special scientific interest. Important geology. The rocks here are, are significant for shallow, warm water sediments with fossil sponges, corals, crinoids and brachiopods dating from the Carboniferous period. It's really old, basically. And there's a World War II gun emplacement over there. Good place to put that's it. That's what the gun looked like. Yeah. And this is a butterfish. Butterfish. Mm. That's a bit like an eel to me. That's more like an eel to me. Mm. Yeah, there is, yeah. So this is supposed to be good for surfing. 
Yes, it's a surfer's place apparently. Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This is another campsite tour on our Welsh trip 2023. You've seen at the start of the video the route we took from our last site. So we're now definitely in Wales and this is the campsite Hill End. I'll show you around the site. It's quite a big site but quite a simple setup and the primary reason I think people come here apart from its peace and quiet, is you are in a perfect location for the beach and it's a very popular surfing beach. So there's a surf school here and lovely long beach just to stroll along, which we've done. And the only other thing to mention, I guess, is the weather. We hoped to be able to uh, pick up some sunshine. It was a bit sunnier this morning, but now it's clouded over again although it's not quite as windy so I'm hoping there won't be too much problem with the sound. So you've seen from the video we've come in and passed the shop which is on site and also it has uh, a cafe all opened about nine to four uh, off season then later obviously in the main season. So I'm just going to walk towards reception um, when we're looking to book the site it looked like it was very full but it turns out they've had real problems with the amount of rain we had in March and being pretty much all all grass they've had to be really careful with how they allocate the pitches out because it's just still so wet and I guess it's a lot of sand which won't help so in actual fact they've only released about 30 pitches out of about 
over 200 I think so I had to make real changes just before I go down past reception I'll show you this road down here on the left and that's the road down to the car park which is where all the vans are for the surfers and people walking on the beach so I'll show you the beach walk a bit later then we'll move on down here reception on the right talking to the people in reception this stays open quite late around midnight or so so there's always somebody around during the day come down here this is the facilities block it's a big block because it is a fairly big site you'll see just ahead outdoor showers again with the amount of uh, surfers it attracts you're expected to use these if you're washing off wetsuits etc so here they are then you've got dishwashing so this is a slightly different arrangement to many sites you've got showers on one side toilets on the other and quite a lot of both I'm coming down now to the other facilities as well as a very impressive children's playground that looks like great fun imagine children spending ages climbing all over this and to the left some more sinks dishwashing and if we come round This is where the uh, chemical toilet disposal point and then here a laundry which uh, looks like it's locked so I think you probably have to collect a key from reception. Coming down you can see there's uh, different places they've tried to put pitches out given the conditions this first field here, or this field here, looks like it can't be used at the moment. They have put a motor home on that bit of uh, tarmac there, but nothing else is being used. I'll come back round in front of this building, looking back up towards reception. You'll also see all the static caravans on the other side of that road that people are walking down. Then we have here rubbish waste and recycling and then here is the motorhome service point so you've got water and grey waste disposal there this is the other field they are using I think this is all non-electric hence the uh, number of tents that's been quite popular and they have been able to use that one but as you go down the hill further that's obviously where the problem has occurred come down to what is marked as field two back where I showed you earlier that motorhome parked and this is where we are you can just see the van Iggy's there pop top up and these two fields this one and the one we're in they look like the electric so you can see the electric points company covered over with the black bin bags and also lots of uh, posts etc to stop people coming onto this grass they take a lot of time over this grass with us they were saying that they uh, roll it aerate it mow it and try and keep it as pristine as possible see they're big fields but uh, they're all well marked out with sections to maintain the distance between the pitches which is good and this is where they've managed to put a few more people on in fact i think what we're on is actually not a proper pitch but they managed to squeeze us on because we wanted electric and they didn't have any left but they created this area for us and then you'll see it opens up into this next field a bit selective in how they've used it 
we've managed to squeeze as many on as possible. So that's the end of the campsite tour. I've just come down trying to get out of the wind. Just to say hope you found it useful. It's a lovely location if you like surfing and the beach. And we'll see you again for another campsite tour very soon. Bye for now. Bye.